Alright guys, so to start off this look, I'm first going to go in with a primer. This is the Too Faced um, Hangover RX Primer. Duh. And then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer on top of that just to give myself a really nice base to work with. Next, I'm mixing these two foundations together. The Makeup Forever one's a little more matte, and the Josie Maron one is like extremely dewy, like a borderline oily. So, them mixed together just gives a really nice, like, satin finish, and I really like it. Plus, the color matched me a lot better, too. So, on to concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm mixing two shades together to get my perfect match, and then just blending that out with Beauty Blender. my under eyes I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just applying that anywhere where I applied concealer. I used to do this all the time and take the um, Hourglass ambient lighting powder and luminous light and set my face with it. It's technically like a highlight that a lot of people use but I love the way it looks when I set my face. It gives you just this so uh, like the perfect natural glow. It's just not intense enough for a highlight for me. And then I am taking this bronzer from, oh, I think it's, um, I forget what it's called, but I will list it below. It's one of the, like the luxury brands, but it's a healthy glow powder and it's so pretty and natural. And then to contour, I'm taking Sculpt from Tarte and applying that just on the very back of my cheekbones and on the sides of my nose and temples and all that, just to give myself more defined cheekbones. And then... I'm going to carve out the bottom of my contour with Laura Mercier powder with my Beauty Blender. It's just a good trick if you really want like a super contoured effect. I don't like to leave mine on for super long because this powder can make it a little white and I don't like that. So I like to wipe it off immediately. For blush, I'm using this one from Lorac in Cinematic. I can't put this blush down. I just reach for it so often. And then for highlight, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I've also been using this a lot lately. It's just so pretty and intense. I don't know. I just love it. And I love the color of it, the tone of it. It's just so beautiful. And you don't even need Fix Plus for it. To set my face, I'm using Tarte Ready Set Radiant Finishing Spray. And now I'm going to move on to my eyes. So I'm first taking the Kathleen Left by Morphe palette and taking that mustardy shade and applying that into my crease with a MAC 224 brush and just kind of building up the color. Next, to kind of tone it down a little bit and further blend, I'm taking Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and Applying that into my crease as well. This is a Sigma E35 brush. And then I'm going to mix those two shades and apply them to my lower lash line. I need to figure out a better way to angle myself so you can actually see what I'm doing to my lower lash line. But I have to look in a mirror, so it's kind of hard to, to do. I'm taking that olive green shade from the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette. It's so intense and so pretty. I wanted like a mossy green eye today. I'm just applying it with my finger and then I will go in with a brush and get around the edges where my, you know, fat chubby finger couldn't quite reach. And I think this is a MAC, uh, I don't remember the number, but yeah, it's a, one of their flat brushes, it's just a synthetic brush, it's really good at packing on color. Just to deepen things up a tiny bit, I'm taking that brownish shade, kind of looks like Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. And just applying that into my crease like barely and then I didn't show it on camera but I actually used my finger and reapplied some of the green because some of it got blended away but that's all I did like I'm barely even touching the edges with this eyeshadow it almost like didn't really add much because I'm being so light with it but it did give it just a little something next I'm taking this green eyeliner from the balm it's in the shade Wayne it's a weird name for a green eyeliner but it's just a really pretty like mossy greenish eyeliner and then after that I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Apple Teeny 
this like brighter green color and just use that to smudge out the eyeliner and the lower lash line just to make it not so dark mossy all over just a little brighter on the lower corner or lower lash line then I am taking electric from the new Anastasia subculture palette I do like this shade it's pretty at least for this look but I don't know if I'm gonna post another eyeshadow look with this palette because it really is hard to work with so don't count on seeing one of those anytime soon at least and to highlight my brow bone I am using Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek also sorry I'm like mixing a bunch of eyeshadows but that's just what I do next I'm taking the L'Oreal mascara the new one that's like Too Faced oh my god it's my favorite mascara in the entire world I didn't even put false lashes on today so just moving on to lips I am using makeup not makeup geek uh, color pops lip liner in bound and then on top of that I'm gonna use Too Faced cool girl liquid lipstick and this combo is so nice I've also been mixing this bound lip liner with Anastasia's pure Hollywood and it's just such a good combo this lip liner is everything but yeah that does complete this look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next video thanks